Good morning and happy Tuesday. We're looking at a busy one already on our major routes, unfortunately. And we're starting off with the southbound 410, which is already heavy out of Brampton. We're looking at delays from Sandalwood down to about Williams Parkway, and then it slows down here from the 407 to the eastbound 401 ramp. And then once again, onto the eastbound 401, we're looking at uh, very heavy delays from about Winston Churchill all the way over to Mavis, 410 to about uh, West End, both in the Express and Collector Lane. So quite busy right now on the 401 heading east through the city. And we're also looking at a uh, heavy volume, hard to see here, but heavy volume on the eastbound Gardner from about Park Lawn over to Dufferin. So all in all, busy drive on our major routes. Over in Oshawa, we're looking at a closure of Thornton at Champlain, which is north of the 401. That is closed off for construction until July. So let's look at the and we're looking at the kind of five and all as well as in this morning. Sunshine. Here's a look at your future. But then for the all the way into third today, eight. Showers of the day Friday. Beautiful looking, partly cloudy, a high of 24. So a little cool to start off, but we are warming up through the end of the week. Let's look at your forecast. The much-anticipated Collision High-Tech Conference is officially underway in the city, expected to draw about 25,000 people to our city this week. It's the first time the conference is being held in Canada. It's being seen as a game-changer for Toronto, cementing our role in the world of high-tech. CEOs and top execs are among those taking part in the conference. The Prime Minister was there for opening night, telling the crowd why they should consider setting up shop in Canada. What we're doing in Canada is making sure that there is room for everyone to succeed, everyone to feel like there's a path forward for them and their kids in technology. Also addressing the crowd last night, Canadian actor Seth Rogen talking about his latest venture, his own cannabis company called Houseplant. You guys have had a, a, a busy couple decades. Yeah, and we've been stoned the whole time. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, not right now, though. Not right, not right now. now. Of course not. Every that'd be crazy. That'd be insane. Well, one of the keynote speakers today is actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who's also the co-founder of Hit Record. He'll be speaking about his creative online community of over 700,000 people. Collision takes place down at the Entercare Center until Thursday. Over to Mississauga next, where an assault overnight has left three people injured. One of them is now under arrest. It happened just after 2.30 this morning near Dundas Street East and Wharton Way east of Dixie. And you can see a man in handcuffs surrounded by police who was later put into an ambulance. One of the people involved has serious injuries and was taken to a trauma center. The other two taken to a local hospital. No word yet on any charges. Peel police, though, they continue to investigate. A court appearance today for a man charged in the fatal stabbing of his mother. 19-year-old Duncan Sinclair is facing a first-degree murder charge in the death of 51-year-old Ray Cara Carrington. She was fatally stabbed where she worked at a sandwich shop in Toronto's Underground Path Network near Bay and King. That happened on April 12th. Police have made a second arrest in a homicide investigation that happened in Rexdale earlier this month. 29-year-old Michael Smith of Toronto turned himself into police yesterday. He now faces a first-degree murder charge in connection to the shooting death of 26-year-old Blaine Gridley who was shot and killed outside of a townhouse complex on May 1st. A Canada-wide Canada warrant remains in effect for 27-year-old Dane Sitladine. Police say that he should be considered armed and dangerous. It's 6.34 here on BT. We'll send things over to Roger and Mike with business next.